Hello, Welcome everyone. back to Ed and Mel. Yes. And today we're cleaning some ears. <laughs> Today's yeah. all about the ears. Yeah. Right, well, today's we're going to get inside there. We're going to pull the hair out and give them a good wipe and good clean so they can hear us. Good everyone wants man. to see your face. That's why they don't listen because they can't hear us. What do we need? A powder of some sort. We have some cornstarch which works good and all the powder does is his ears are already moist because they're always covered and also I think it's like oil too like his natural oils yeah, make they're it just naturally greasy. like his hair is if you have a sheepdog you lift their ear their hair up their hair in their ears is usually pretty moist and it's really warm yeah so this powder it just takes the hair and it just separates them so when you pull them out you're not pulling out as many you're yeah. kind of pulling out a few at a time and, and it, it's so surprising how deep you can get inside the ear because it's literally the, the hairs will like be super yeah, long. Yeah, there's some ones that are really and the, down there. the powder really allows you to get a good grip on the greasy hair. Yeah, so we gotta so start. Step here. one, powder, some yeah. type of powder. Get one out of here. It's Wallace's turn, so we'll put B aside here. Wallace, can, or yeah. pardon me, B. Um, we don't know what breed she is. I've mentioned that many times. Uh, we think Leave she it in the comments. A, a we love to hear suggestions. Uh, uh, ca I don't know. I don't know what she is. Have a poo. Yeah, have a poo. There we go. Have an ease poodle and. Uh, okay, lay down, Wallace. Sit. I don't know. Oh. Anyway, okay. she's a stray dog. We love her. She's part of the family. But for this time, okay. this well, is what, Wallace. What know. else do you need? And uh, that's pretty much it. Then you just have a white wet cloth. You have a wet one and a dry mm -hmm. one. Give it a good wipe. Dry it out. Make sure it's dry. Um, and oh my goodness. Oh. Millie, oh, <laughs> she's trying to eat the cornstarch. I don't know why. She's like, oh, powder. Taste like, tastes like corn, maybe? I don't know. She's just curious. So, Cats yeah, be we'll, curious. Lay, we'll lay Wallace down here. I'm getting covered So, what else do you have there? No, what, it, what, what do you need? Did you explain so, that? So, you have a wet cloth. Wet wipes work really good, yeah. like baby wipes. And then you have a dry cloth just to give it a wipe when it's clean. And to put and somewhere to put all the hair you're going to pull out. It's nice to have the dry cloth. That too, yes. So, An you can extra. just scoop it up. An extra cross just to put down to put hair on. Well, it's we'll, when you rub his ears. We'll actually spread it out. Oh my god. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good luck with this. We've never done this with Millie yet. Um, so, so I'm going to put this down. He's like, give me my mat back. Okay, girl, you can lay down. You come here. I'm going to grab the GoPro so that you guys can come right on in. And you can see in there, nope. like, there's quite a, quite a bit of hair. I could have done this a little earlier, but whatever. And uh, yeah, you just pretty much, when we're done, this will be, oh, gone. Bee's having a good little sniff here. Millie's sure loving that wet. Yeah, she's going crazy on that. So much for my pile of fur. Where's your wet? Did you I give it a wet one right here? Give it a little wipe? Yeah, yeah, give it a little wipe here. And just get, you can see there's like dirt sometimes gets in there, earwax, oil. What's Millie doing? Oh, playing in like, come on, girl. <laughs> she's gonna be like, white. <laughs> Look at this Wallace. We got B, we got oh. Wallace. Can you grab the GoPro? Where is it? It's right over there. Wallace, grab the GoPro. Wallace, come here. Wallace. B's like, my turn. I don't think hers are even that bad. No, hers don't get bad. For some reason, our hair doesn't grow in her ears. Oh, I might clean hers though. They need cleaning, but. Mm -hmm. Come on, Wallace. So, Wallace knows what's up now, what we're doing, and. Mm -hmm. Not a big fan. It's kind of like, hey, Wallace, let's go for a bath, and he usually runs. <laughs> Come on. Come here, Wallace. Want a treat? Wallace's turn. It's like, fine with me. Right, Wallace? It's I Wallace. can hear just fine, he said. Okay. Okay, B, you're um, done. All right. You the other one? No, she's good. The other one was good. All right. Okay, give me Wallace. It's your turn. Let's go, Wallace. We're back. Come on. Get over here. Oh, there we go. Get Millie's bringing them all to the yard. Oh, okay. Which yard? Okay. Which um, one? Let's continue on the one that we uh, started. All right. So. Uh oh. Whoa. All right. Sit. <laughs> sit. Sit. Then you gotta lay down. Yeah, lay down. <laughs> he knows what's up. It's like, okay. I don't like this. I'm gonna the other one. Okay. Oh, that's the right one. Okay, so I'm going to bring yes. you into the ear. So, so this you is, want to start? This is what an ear looks like when it needs yeah, to get a cleaning. Pretty, pretty rough. 
So and then you'll see there's like earwax up here, just from it lapping over the ear. So you just give that a little white, get that stuff off. And I like to wet the old fingers. Yep. And then I just grab the hair. And you kind of just twist them between your fingers and loosen them up. You'll see right away they start, they turn oh, like instantly it. dry, pretty much. Yep. The powder just soaks up the the wetness that's in there. And even the oh, earwax. Wallace is loving it. Yeah. He, He's like, yeah. Like, All right. Once you get going, yeah, there. There's some good stuff there. Okay, get your fingers right. and get you get your pulling. finger wet here, nice and powdery. You get them in there and you just separate that here. Separate that here. You have to do it a couple times just and to I get it And I find nice that if you coated. grab a smaller chunk, yeah, a smaller is better. Is way it, better. Once you get it coated, like look at that how it turns. So then you start at one side and you kind of go. Yeah, so you all good. And you give it a pull. Try not to hit the camera. <laughs> <laughs> to hit the camera. Okay, so essentially you're just, you don't have to like be so dramatic. It's, it literally comes off so easy. Like look yeah. what I'm doing. It's just, it just flakes off. Mm -hmm. Here, sorry. I will let you do that. Yeah, when you get going. It oh my out. goodness. And I just want to point out, you see this, you see this dark hair? That just means that's like a good, a good one that goes deep and he loves it when you get those. Yeah, there's some. It like really cleans the whole canal, keeps it dry. Some people say you shouldn't pull too much, but. No, the vet. The, I think more than the people we, we were instructed by the vet to do yeah. this. But it's very oh. important for dogs that ears droop over yeah. the holes to make sure that they stay dry. Because they, they can problems. get, uh, yeah, they can get ear infections and. Yeah, more prone to it. More prone to it. Good boy, Wallace. Shake it through there. You just take that little, take this big chunk right here. Oh my gosh! And just take little bits at a time. But I could try to record oh. at the same time. Oof. Yeah. I'll hold this. Oh, golden! Mm. It feels so good when you get like a big chunk. Yeah. He's holding his breath. He's like, oh, that was a gooder. That was a fantastic pull. Oh, look at how much cleaner it looks. Yeah, I'm getting there. I was just excited. So just kind of pointing out like this is we're trying to get all the hairs that are in this canal like as clear as we can. Yeah. So that's what you're just kind of reaching in there and what you can grab. You don't want to go too far, no, you don't but whatever know. you can grab and then kind of tidy up this area here. And that's really easy. Like some people of. like the vet when we were instructed, they said to take all these loose hairs kind of like where it's pink and just to pull it up. Back there, like all these little. Yeah. The guys. less stuff you have retaining water here, the better. Because this is what sits on top of the ears, so just like that. You know.
feel like uh, <laughs> probably when Wallace is grunts, you know, it feels really good for him. It's like his go to. Oh, good boy. All right. He needs a bath. It's just dirty. That's good. All right. So yeah, that's what uh, pretty much a clean ear looks like, hair-wise. Mm-hmm. So now, to wipe down. I need to go wet my cloth. I'll get a new wet one. But, look at that. Like, hair-wise, this hair ear compared to the one on the other side. Let's give me a second. Hey, oh, good. Compared to this one that we haven't done yet or started to do so all right crazy then oh, <laughs> next up there all right here we go kim so now once you got all the hair pretty much plucked out i don't know this is pretty good we're going to call it good. And then you just want to wipe it out and get any dirt out. And plus get any of that powder that you put inside there. And also try not to get too much powder in his eardrum. Like actually inside the hole. Okay. okay. All right. All right. That's your number one. Now I get him back for ear number two. It's like, man. Can can half hear us now. Come on, good boy. So if your dog prefers to stand, that's all right too. However, you're able to get to get at it, essentially. Mm -hmm. So the key is powder. Powder makes it easier. Yeah, to powder pull. is your best friend. But you're not pulling too much at one time. And Wallace, he really he loves it. He doesn't he doesn't mind it at all. That's a good one. Hmm. There's so much hair here, oh my goodness. Your hair, your ears are so hairy. So yeah, it's a lot easier with two people. If you can have one holding the head, kind of, just petting them. Not really holding them, just kind of petting them and I don't know, holding them too, I guess. Also, if you have to do it solo, take your dog for a good long walk. Yeah, before. and you'll, you'll naturally just want to lay down. Yeah. And then they, it's something that they do enjoy as much as you'd be like, oh, that might hurt pulling hair out of their ears. But no, actually. Yeah. He, he never yelps or in pain or anything. No, they, he really looks forward to it. He just grunts and groans. Like he leans. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I was like, ear potatoes. Yeah. Harvest season. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's funny yeah, that he holds his breath. I love that. <laughs> oh, he just farted. Yeah, that's why he's holding his breath. Yeah, he like released some pressure there. He's like a skunk. Get away from me. I'll spray you. Oh, good boy. Okay. All right, now give her a wipe. So once you're done plucking the ears, just give it a final wipe. Get all the res resisting powder out. And uh, yeah, any dirt that's left over. It's also the powder, the dirt that's there, it will dry it off and make it easier to uh, to get off the inner ear. Okay. And that's it. All done. And now he's gonna run and not come near us for no. a while. No, he doesn't trust us at all. No. Time but to walk? Who wants that's to That's how walk? we get his ears done. And uh, yeah, now we'll take him for a little walk. And, yeah. uh, he knows those words. <laughs> hey, B, you can come for a walk too? So yeah, there in a nutshell is <coughs> how you clean a uh, old English sheepdog's hair. How you pluck their old get ears. Get the ear out of the hair. And get the, if, ear, get the ear out of the hair. Get the you hair know, out you of know the what ear. we mean. So generally that's how we do it. We're no by no means professionals, but it seems to work well for us and I think we've gotten the idea from probably the internet somewhere years and years ago. Well, and 
It just... Actually, to be honest, um, the very first Old English Sheepdog we had, Farley. hashtag Farley Sprocket, um, he, one of our very first vet appointments, the vet there mm -hmm. um, told us, because she noticed that the ears hadn't been plucked and she's like, oh, you guys, you know, new, new dog owners. Cause that was our first dog together mm -hmm. as a married couple. And, <laughs> um, anyway, we didn't know, um, that we had to pluck the ears. So that was like, no, you just pluck the ears. And we're like, what? And then she like, she honestly just like opened the ear up and was like, yeah, it's as easy as this. And just went and plucked it and like lickety split and, and ever since then she's like yeah you don't have to pay it's really easy very good for your mm -hmm. dog who have floppy and ears. I believe if you do ask your groomer to do it she or he will yep do if, it. yeah it's and something that needs to you. get done all right guys until if, next time thank you very much for watching and thumbs up if you like it give us a thumbs up yes and subscribe and also also <laughs> Um, leave a comment below. We love to, you know, a topic that we need to cover or comment on Anything. what you, what you learned or saw today. We'd love yeah. to hear from you. Until next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> hey, are you jumping like a kangaroo? Yeah, I know. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. <laughs>